Suddenly, the problems that Barry and the other team members face are becoming severe. The seas are against them. It's a reminder of the fate that befell the wretched sailors of Destray's fleet. Few in the 17th century could swim at all, so they would have drowned in the surf and been torn to shreds on the sharp coral. Negotiating the banks of the stinging fire coral in the breaking waves, pulling themselves hand over hand along the reef makes for painfully slow progress and leaves them dangerously short of air. Close to the last rack site. Can they succeed in measuring it? Fix an accurate location? Complete the task that the expedition set out to do? They make it to the wreck site. And despite being tossed around by the surf, they struggle to complete the measurements and drawings. If the team is to verify their findings, accurate measurements are vital. Despite the conditions, they succeed and finish the job. At one point we uh, measured one long distance and we, it was only about 60 feet away, but there's probably about 200 feet of tape measure out, all tied up, wrapped around every piece of coral that could be found down there. So, um, but we worked around it. <laughs> Barry's very low on air and knows that he has to get back to the dive boat. Caught by the current, he struggles desperately to reach safety. I could feel the edges of panic starting to surround me a little bit. We were really caught in the current. It started, started to get a little scary. We shouldn't spend a lot more time working in this spot. You know, I think it's, let's call it a day. 